Balaj's mother, Balaj Baloch's mother, Balaj, who faced the same fate, being extrajudicially killed after his enforced disappearances, even after being presented in court, I received the mutilated body of my father, Ghaffar Lango, after two years of his enforced disappearances. Over the past 20 years, numerous military operations have been conducted in the name of security in areas like Dera Bukti, Kolu, Kahan, Avaran, Mashke, Jao, Tutak, Balgatar, Dasht, Bolan, and many other areas. These operations resulted in the deaths of hundreds of innocent people, and thousands were displaced from their native villages and towns. Unfortunately, these operations continue to this day in different parts of Balochistan. Like still Pakistan wants to invade Balochistan, like still Pakistan wants to displace people in Balochistan. This was just a brief story of oppression in Balochistan. After hearing this account, I hope you will not say that the term genocide is exaggerated, but we will say that the genocide term is a small term. People around the world have to discover a new word that could fit what Baloch is suffering back in their homeland. Ladies and gentlemen, in this region where we reside, all oppressed nations, including Pashtuns, Sindhis, Muajirs, Azara, Shias, and Gilgitis, are, are also victims of forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. From the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Mountains to the Karachi Sea, thousands are deprived of freedom of expression and basic human rights. Some are oppressed based on their ethnic and religious identity, while others are silenced from raising their voices for their rights. Political leaders like Manzoor Pashtin have been continuously and unlawfully detained from the last two months for advocating Pashtun rights. For the past 20 years, the Hazara community has been facing mass killings based on their relig religious identity. Sindhis, Muajirs, and Shias are also experiencing forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. For decades, Hindu and Christian communities have been facing oppression based on their religious identities. Moreover, even the Punjab today, political activists and journalists have forcibly disappeared based on their political affiliations and freedom of expression. Yet today, we stand united with all the ongoing people's struggle in this region. Whether it be the ongoing sit-in in Chaman or the ongoing protests in Gilgit Baltistan, we stand in solidarity with Muajirs, Sindhis, Azaras, Pashtuns, Shias, Hindus, Christians, and all oppressed communities and support their struggle. Moreover, today the people of Kurdistan, Palestine, Afghanistan, and many other oppressed communities are facing oppression. We stand with the subjugated peoples of the world, and today there is a need for coordination among the movement of oppressed people, and we hope for a joint struggle between the subjugated nations of the world. Respected women, I extend my heartful appreciation to the women who have played a significant role in the movement of oppressed nations globally including the ongoing struggle against Baloch genocide. I firmly believe that the involvement of women in any movement is crucial. Women constitute an integral part of our society, and their exclusion from any struggle based solely on gender is unjust. It is particularly important for women of subjugated nations to act actively participate in the struggle as they are subjected to extreme oppression. And without the participation of women, no struggle is efficient and no struggle is called people's struggle. The historic contribution of Baloch women in our ongoing long march against the Baloch genocide serves as an inspiration, not only for the women in our region, but for the women across oppressed nations worldwide. I emphasize the utmost importance of a collective effort among women from all nations, including Kurdish women. I believe establishing a channel and a common platform for communication and joint struggle is desirable and necessary. Honorable human rights activists and journalists, I extend my utmost gratitude to all the human rights activists and journalists 
who have played a constructive role in this movement, becoming the voice for the voiceless. Simultaneously, we appeal to all those human rights organizations, journalists and human rights activists to stand in solidarity with the struggles of oppressed nations worldwide, including the Baloch nation, and amplify their voices. It is crucial to bring to this attention that state institutions are persistently employing force and violence in, this, in the ongoing movement against the Baloch genocide, adopting a consistently aggressive stance to suppress this movement. Despite these challenges, we remain steadfast, hoping to counter these violent attitudes with unwavering determination. In this challenging time, we seek your support and assistance and trust that you will stand by us and you will witness with us what state is doing. Ladies and gentlemen, this International Conference of Oppressed People aims to promote unity among oppressed peoples globally, including those in this region. We comprehend the global oppression faced by the oppressed people today. And to end this oppression, it is imperative to foster solidarity in the struggles of oppressed peoples worldwide, alongside those in this region. Finally, on behalf of the Baloch Yagjati Committee, I express deep gratitude to the peoples of all oppressed nations, the honorable guests and speakers, and everyone who contributed to the success of this conference and also to the success of this movement, who are with us and who will be with us whenever we will be, we ask their support. Thank you very much.